In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Profoto OCF Beauty Dishes, as well as give you a first-hand look into how we shot and lit our recent James Dean-inspired wedding photo shoot. What's up, everybody? My name is Pai Jersa of Lynn and Jersa Photography and SLR Lounge. And in this video, we're talking about the new OCF Beauty Dishes, for which we have two. We have the silver and we have the white. Both of these beauty dish modifiers fit into a tiny bag. They weigh less than a pound and they can be tucked virtually anywhere in your gear bag. So the portability and ease of use is incredible, but what's even more fantastic is the price point. These beauty dishes come in at around 180 bucks. Let's talk about the shoot and the images. Now this was a personal shoot and for it, I wanted to see just how much quality I could squeeze out of my newly acquired Canon 5DS, as well as my new Zeiss Otis 55 and 85 millimeter lenses, which are arguably the standard in still photography primes. Usually when I'm shooting wide open apertures in the middle of the day, I like to use ND filters over my lenses because they help me to bring down the amount of light and stay below the one 200 of a second sync speed to get the most power out of my flash systems. But for this shoot, I knew that if I were to use an ND filter, it would automatically compromise the quality of the images that I'm getting out of the Zeiss Otis lenses right from the start, regardless of the quality of ND filter that I use. This is where the Profoto B1 and B2 really shine because running in high speed sync, we can still get significantly more power out of these strobes than comparing it to regular flashes running high speed sync. In fact, we use the B2 on this shoe and at 250 watt seconds in high speed sync, you're gonna be still getting four to five times the amount of power than a standard flash running high speed sync. For the light modifier, I opted to use the silver beauty dish simply because we're shooting in such a bright scene and the silver is gonna get me a little bit more light intensity. For the shoot, the lighting is actually fairly simple. We place our subjects' backs for the most part against the sun. So we're using the sun as basically a backlight or a rim light for the entire scene. Inside of the frame, I'm composing my frame with a subject that's placed over the slightly darker background of the mountains. And this is what makes that edge light, the backlight, really pop against the darker surface of the mountain. From there, we add the B2 along with the silver beauty dish and we light the subject at a pretty dramatic angle. So what we're trying to do is create a nice dimension and direction to that main light. And we're gonna control the light pattern by simply moving the subject's face and body position to get the right light pattern onto the person. Also at that point, while using the B2 as our main light, we can use the ambient exposure in the camera to also control the fill that's coming into the shadows on the other side of the person's face. Keep in mind that I want these images to have kind of that bright and airy wedding-esque feel to them. So I chose an ambient exposure setting that would keep the scene fairly bright. And we got that at around 1 4,000th of a second F2 and ISO 50. At that point though, we simply add in the B2 at full power with high-speed sync enabled and we're flashing and adjusting the light simply control the direction and to control the catch lights. And speaking of the catch lights in the eyes, we can zoom into these images and you can see that beautiful beauty dish catch light that's created from the OCF beauty dishes. Also, look at that resolution. 50 megapixels with an incredibly sharp lens gets you images that are absolutely breathtaking in terms of quality. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the new Profoto OCF Beauty Dishes because I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are my new favorite on-the-go light modifiers. Be sure to check out the article in the link below this video. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. And well, my name is Pai. I'll see you all in the next video.